Welcome to Training for HOA Boards presented by HOA USA. The subject of this video will be meetings and elections. The association has a responsibility to conduct certain meetings and provide adequate notice. These meetings include the annual membership meeting, which is probably the most important. This can also include board meetings, whether they're regular or special. And then there can be special called meetings of the entire membership. The association has a responsibility for proper notice of these meetings, in many cases preparing agendas that are approved ahead of time, and for maintaining the minutes of the meetings. All of this consistent with Robert's Rules of Order. With regard to the agenda, it should contain the following. Opening the meeting, the approval of the minutes, the reports of officers, boards, and standing committees, reports of special committees, any unfinished business and new business, and then closing the meeting. The minutes are a record of what was done at the meeting, not what was said. So they should be brief. They should address, and in the first paragraph, the kind of meeting being held. Is it a regular meeting or a special meeting or a readjourned meeting? What's the legal incorporated name of the board, the association? What's the date and time of the meeting? Where the meeting is held, if that varies from month to month? And the fact that the chairman and the secretary were present, and if not, who was substituting? Whether or not the minutes of the previous meeting were read and approved. Also in the minutes, there should be a separate provision or paragraph for each topic and each motion that's been introduced, the specific language of that motion, and the name of the person who has introduced that motion. Secondary motions should also be included unless they were lost or withdrawn. Any other notices of motion. And finally, all points of order and appeals, whether sustained or lost, should be included. In the last paragraph of the minutes, the time that the meeting was adjourned, if there were any votes, the number of votes if a count was ordered, or if there was a ballot vote, the names and votes of all roll call votes, the signature of the clerk. You do not have to include people that have seconded motions, their names, or any motions that were withdrawn, or the remarks of any guest speakers or personal opinions. The purpose of the annual meeting is to elect the directors, to present the financial reports, to ratify the annual budget, and any other matters requiring a vote of the entire membership. Quorums have to be reached, and this will be specified typically in the governing documents, how many people have to attend in order to reach a quorum and have a legitimate meeting where the business is understood and transacted properly. Some of your members will not be able to attend. They're absentee members, in which case they can vote by proxy. And a proxy is simply an agent who is legally authorized to act on behalf of another party. This covers our topic on meetings and elections. Coming up next, using a management company.